Is WWE 2K20's Bump in the Night DLC worth buying? You're about to find out. Oh, he's shoving it down his throat! And another assault on his head. Bray Wyatt with the victory! Fred Ricciani, TSC Gaming, your home for sports game reviews and news updates. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. WWE 2K20 has been absolutely positively ripped to shreds by gamers and critics alike for subpar graphics, awkward gameplay, and total non-stop glitches. 2K20 tries to redeem itself with this Bump in the Night DLC pack along with its latest patch, but the results are questionable. Note, you can purchase Bump in the Night separately or as part of WWE 2K20 Deluxe edition. I've included all the links in the description if you'd like to buy, but let's dive into this review. The good news. You get to play as the fiend, Bray Wyatt, and he's one of the few character models in this game that actually looks awesome. The bad news. The content the fiend comes with is straight out of PS2, a PS2 Resident Evil parody. You see, we couldn't just get normal downloadable content that gives you additional towers, aka gauntlets, and new characters. We couldn't just get additional cutscenes and historical challenges we can play from Wyatt. Wyatt's decorated WWE career. No, we had to get zombies. Dialogue that even WWE Studios would be ashamed of. Zombie versions of WWE superstars like Sasha Banks, Randy Orton, Braun the Strowman, and Aleister Black. An uninspired graveyard that looks like it was rendered from Saga Dreamcast. That is so dangerous. Look at this. Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, Oh, ho, ho, ho. harsh impact. Ah, oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, again. Boom, what impact. Nikki Cross coming out of an asylum. Cut scenes that aren't really cut scenes and contain no voiceovers whatsoever. Sure, the dark theme and the commentary from Bray Wyatt is kind of interesting at first, but trust me, the novelty wears off real fast. <laughs> I felt the impact from here. <laughs> I felt that in my own soul. Too many have underestimated Alistair Black. Thinking his frightful appearance has nothing more than a trick to terrify his opponents. But nothing could be further from the truth. Terror is a weapon. And Alistair Black knows how to wield it. Finn Balor is off to an early lead. When the bell rings, it's still the same. Dull, repetitive gameplay as the base game. I'll give Daddy B2K credit in a sense. At least this DLC pack doesn't resell us legends of the past like the usual pre-order bonuses. And to be fair, there are plenty of challenges and unlockables to keep you busy. Here's the problem. The problem is much like the rest of the game, it's a chore and frankly, a bore to go through it all. If you've enjoyed Daddy B2K20 so far, click the link in the description to buy this DLC because you'll certainly have plenty to do. But if you've been unsatisfied with this game from the jump, bump in the night ain't gonna do much to improve your experience. Overall, TSC gives WWE 2K20 Bump in the Night DLC a thumbs down. For more WWE 2K videos and news updates, please subscribe, click that bell to enable notifications, like, share, take care, and until next time everybody, as always, enjoy the games and don't talk to strangers, especially The Fiend. This match officially underway, Sasha Banks, mix of confidence and remarkable in-ring ability, makes for quite the advantage going into every match and Banks absolutely knows that. Here is your winner, Sasha Banks. But guys, wait, wait. Uh-oh. Well, this match will continue. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Going to add that match to the highlight reel. That was hard to watch for a few different reasons. Hey, a win is a win and Sasha found a way to do it. Seems like her fighting instincts are still there.